the ugly truth about Genshin Impact. Coming right up. Welcome home, it's Lemon Dome. Hey, what's up guys? Lemon Dome. We're going to talk about Genshin Impact a little bit today. Just a little bit. People ask why you still play the game. It doesn't have enough content. Once you get to a certain level, you're just stuck. I play the game. I have fun. And I love it. I love watching content creators. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even be where I'm at today in Genshin. And those are That's facts. Good. Don't get stuck in your feelings. If a content creator has a C6 five-star character with a five-star weapon, max refinement, and you don't, that's just it. Just like life, there's levels to this shit. Without these content creators, a lot of us Genshin players wouldn't even know what to do. I mean, we would know what to do to a certain extent, but we would not be able to see max potentials of characters. You know what I'm saying? And that brings us to another topic, the character talk. Oh, this character is not that character. It's a mindset for gamers when it comes to like these type of games. There's a certain mindset and this is like 80% small brain mindset. And that mindset is if that character doesn't do damage, that character sucks. Everybody has a DPS brain and that's just being honest. There's nothing like the feeling of just doing big damage. But at the same time, Genshin is a team game. If you have the right squad supporting your big damage, it's crazy. A good example, uh, I'd like to shout out to DS Gaming for keeping it real. I was watching his stream the other day and it got hectic over Zhang Li. There was a guy in the chat ranting about Zhang being garbage, etc. He's not the DPS we all wanted. He's not Child. He's not Diluc. Zhang is like triple s pornhub x video damage support you know what i'm saying but he was trying to prove his point while ds was slapping domains with Zhang Li, and i thought it was funny and then after a certain while dsg started stating facts and the chat got quiet for like a good minute you know all he said was don't bash on a character based on your opinion and trying to bring someone else to your level every character is viable to carry if they weren't why were they created if you like certain characters, good for you. If you don't like certain characters, good for you. You're entitled to your opinion, but don't bring that BS negativity with it. And that's real talk. But here is the ugly truth about Genshin Impact. Here is why you're watching this video. Genshin Impact at the end of the day is a video game. Play it. Enjoy it. If you're not having fun with it, you're not playing it right. Go play something else. And just like any other game community, this is the ugly truth. The toxicity in people has to go. The negativity in people has to go. People need to learn to accept that everyone is entitled to their opinions. Learn to let things go. Learn through your head that it's just a game. Sit down and be humble. Peace. Have a nice day.